how should I be thinking about exercise as I'm going through my menopause journey? So we look, as I said earlier, exercises are really good stress for adaptive change. So when we start getting into all these ratio shifts of estrogen and progesterone, we can't rely on our hormones to create those adaptive changes. And so what I mean by that is like estrogen is responsible for muscle protein synthesis and, and strength and power for women. Progesterone and estrogen are responsible for bone, bone growth, bone density. We can't rely on our hormones for that anymore. We have to look for an external stress. So this is where exercise comes in. So we're looking specifically at how to invoke a stress to change our insulin sensitivity. In, a, in other words, improve our blood glucose control. We need to do proper high intensity work. So that sprint interval or it's true high intensity work to create a stress that's high enough to have the brain say, hey, this is a really, really, really strong stress. I need to invoke changes within the skeletal muscle to be able to store more glucose. I also need to invoke more changes in the mitochondria so that it can use and store more free fatty acids. And I'm going to have more myokine release from the skeletal muscle to tell the liver, don't esterify those fatty acids. I want to use them at rest so we don't get visceral fat gain. So hit workouts. Yeah. Plyometrics, yeah, which is what jumping, jumping, 